G'day, Jim here from Hydrogen Technologies, here with an update of our newest and latest release. Similar machine, of course, but some great additional features at the moment that are going to make life a little bit easier, a bit of better management for you as well, and some extra safety features as well as some technical improvements in some of the components inside. First and foremost, basically, we've gone to a digital style now, so you'll be able to see and control levels of hydrogen that is produced from the front panel. We've also gone to a DC control unit now where all around the world, we're gonna have a DC unit available to everybody. Completely safe inside. All the AC controls and, and power certifications and things are taken care of externally and it will be available everywhere for everyone. Just gonna turn it around. We've had a few improvements on the back as well. I'm going to take off the back and show you some of the new features. I've already removed some of the screws to make things a little easier. As you can see, we've got a little panel here at the moment and this is for shipping purposes only. So there's a little elbow on the back here and when it was shipping laying down on its back, it was just move that little bit and putting a little dent in the back. So it's just an extra precaution for shipping purposes. So when you finally get that, it's just a cable tie on the back. So first thing you'll notice is larger tanks, larger cell. There is a different power control configuration on the cell itself. We've got EPDM gaskets. We've got laboratory grade silicon hoses. Um, it's, it's, it's built for biology, as you know multiple different things that we can do with these machines. So we've tried to take the utmost care for biology and diversification of use. Excellent components inside. It's all stainless steel, as you can see. Electric solenoids and the likes. Color-coded splash, so far as all your electrical components tucked up inside. It's a great thing, it really is. Other components stay the same. Uh, stainless steel caps on the top quick connect fittings and the likes. We still have a storage chamber on the front. Instructions on the top. Beautiful. What I'm gonna do is power it up. Again, this medical, before I do that though, this medical grade power supply is something that's common if required. There's uh, industrial versions as well if people need, but these are certified all over the world. They're a fantastic meanwhile product and they will last for years and years and years. Fantastic thing, high quality power, keeping everyone completely safe. So the DC power supply simply plugs into the back here. Simply press that fitting. There's a flat point on the top of that connection point. Thumb on top, pushes in. Beautiful. So our main features on the front of this machine we have our main power control off and on. We have our electronic management system now and our light switch, and you'll be familiar with that. We just have some lights for night lighting uh, aesthetics. And again, this dial simply changes red, blue, green, or off. So simply turning it on, we're just on with the black button once. That'll turn on the screen, calibration to zero, but to further turn it on, there is a button underneath the silver dial, simply pressing it on and we're away. We've set it to exact parameters that we believe is appropriate. You shouldn't have to do anything further. It's just turn it on, turn it off, it's easy. You don't need to turn the volumes up, turn the, turn the power down, any of those sorts of things. It's a set and forget if you like, and it should run beautifully for years to come. If people did need to change it, Again, I know some people like to have a play. Smaller organisms may require a lower volume. So the basics of this are that the cell configuration on the inside of the machine determines the voltage. The amount of amperage determines the amount of gas that's going to be produced. So by turning up the amperage, we're also going to be applying more power, which in turn creates more heat. In that, it also creates more bubbles because we're producing more gas. The management of the bubbles inside the machine is important. These things can produce a lot more gas. And as you can see here, 
we're bubbling away really well. I'll just turn on the light here for you. Producing plenty of gas at the preset parameters that we've already defined for you. As the bubbles are created in the cell and come up through the tank, the water level is about here. So far as the reservoir, it's about three liters. We put still 2.5 mils of sodium hydroxide into the machine as the uh, catalyst. The concentration of sodium hydroxide inside the machine is actually 0.083. It's extremely low, but we still want it all to stay in this tank as much as possible. More power here, more power here means more bubbles and more heat. That tank is full to about there. But as we make more bubbles, the more bubbles collect in here. And that's why this tank is so important to be as big as it is. As the bubbles burst inside, we want to just harvest off the gas at the top. So we don't want the bubbles to build up so much that those gas bubbles then come through to the filter tank. Admittedly, the filter tank is there for exactly that purpose. However, if we can keep all the bubbles in this tank, the filter tank stays clean, everything is where it should be, and you've got a great quality product of gas coming out. So it's important to keep those levels down. In saying that though, there are some parameters that you might be able to change depending on the clinical environment that it may be used in. A lot of professional peoples use these machines and they may have some very specific volumes of gas that they would like to give to their recipients of this. Um, whether it be plants, whether it be nanobubble infusion devices, all these sorts of things take different volumes of gas required. So we can simply turn this machine down as well. It's very versatile. The voltage, as I said, is preset because of the configuration of the plates inside the machine. The amperage is something that we can change, and that's this button down the bottom left here. So if we were to press this amperage button on the very top row where we set our parameters, we can use this dial to scroll up or down. This button will also press so we can use a decimal place, and that will then scroll across the amperage setting until you reach the desired decimal place and tuning up or down. At the moment, we're on the, the second decimal place, turning back up, we're on five amps at the moment. I'll scroll across, six amps, turn it up to one, six amps, set in the middle, set again, and we are defined at the volume we want. We've got it set at 13 and a half volts, five and a half amps currently being drawn through the machine, and we're using about 70 y five watts of power. That's only a little more than a laptop computer. It's very efficient. It's not a power hungry device at all. Basically, that's it. A high quality machine, high quality medical grade or laboratory grade components inside, very low amount of power used, very efficient inside. It runs nice and cool. You'll never get it really any warmer than body temperature. So it's a very cool, efficient running machine. Stainless steel, 316L on all the components, non-corrosive. It's a great machine. It's gonna last you for years and years and years. We're very proud of this and uh, we hope it does a great job for you and your customers alike. Thanks very much.